can now pin a message to the top of your live chat. Oh, okay. Sorry, just reading. <laughs> <clears throat> hello, hello. Sorry, I'm like a few seconds late or a minute late. I haven't been on a YouTube live in a long time. The lighting's kind of bad. I didn't bring over a ring light. I apologize for that. Um, hopefully you can hear me. Let me know if you can hear me and see me okay. I'm sorry for the bad lighting. But you know, it is what it is. My cat is over here sleeping on the couch might bother him <laughs> can see in here thank you i appreciate it well hello thanks for coming and hanging out you guys i was gonna film today but i don't know i've been having a hard time like filming without like telling you guys what's been going on so i'm gonna give people a couple minutes to pop in i'm seeing the chat come alive now hi everybody i have my laptop open down here you see me looking down hey everybody david how we doing um what's up crash beans yeah the lighting's pretty bad does it look bad no it's fine i'm good do you want me like to do the ring light rainy i mean if you want to i just i don't know where the Where's plug the is pl okay. for it well find let's find the plug you talk to the good people okay hi hello from sweden oh yeah hi david hi Everybody's saying hello. Hello. Um, yeah, we're just hanging out for a little bit. I, like I said, I was going to film some stuff today. And then, I was just, I don't know. I'm having a hard time filming and not, like, telling you guys what's been going on. So, I'm not even sure where to begin. Big hugs to both of you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Is that over there? Um, no. It might be in the bedroom, in like that, the basket, all the way to the right on the floor. I have like cords and stuff in there. Um, yeah, so I guess I'll just start at the beginning because some of you might not know that we've been planning on, I feel like I can move the screen down a little bit, planning on moving to New Hampshire. Did you find it? I mean, I think it's... It probably is. Like, they're pretty universal anyway. Um, so yeah, sorry, we're just trying to get a little bit better lighting. Working on it, people. Not that you guys care that much, but um, I can show you my cat in the meantime, because <laughs> David's going to have to sit down <laughs> and, and like, ruin it anyway. Yeah. I uh, know, I'm so sorry you're sleeping. Oh, he's so warm and snuggly. This is Crash. I know how much you are looking forward to your new place, but this just means there's something better. Yeah, for sure, Tanya. We'll get, we'll so definitely get into all that. Turn the lights off and see if, if how this works. It's You can leave them both on. It's fine. Okay, that's way too bright. How's just that? put it on, like, either the lowest or the second to lowest is usually what I do. Just a little healthy glow without blinding me. Okay, well, we're gonna leave it like that. Blinding me. Um, yeah. I'll be right. It's weird, the frame on my phone looks so much smaller than the frame on the computer. So I guess it depends on where you're watching. But anyway, don't forget to give this a thumbs up to you guys. There's a lot of people, a lot more people watching than I anticipated. So, um, uh, I'm Japanese, is that what you're saying? So, yeah, he is not amused. No, he was not happy about that. <laughs> he was not happy about that at all. So, um, yeah. I'm going to open this beverage. I'm, like, nervous for some reason. I just, like, <laughs> like I don't, like, I want to talk about it, but I also don't want to talk about it. I'll do know? it. So, you guys know already that we've been planning on moving. Well, Bub, I tried to tell you. To New Hampshire and, um... I know it seems like you're cut off, but like you're, you're bigger over there. I am bigger over here. Anyway, um, you can look at my readers. I'm old. I need point two fives to okay. see anything on the screen. Anyway. Anyway. So we were, we've just been like casually looking at places because we weren't planning on moving until like closer to May. 
Um, but then he showed me a place one night, and I was like, wait, babe, like, that's actually... Looks like a pretty good fit. Like, seems like the perfect fit for us, right? And then it just happened to work out that I was up visiting my cousin who moved up there, um, which you guys know if you watch my videos. Uh, so we were able to go and look at it, and it still seemed like a great fit for us. I didn't see it. I wasn't there. She was there solo. No, 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 no. I, um, I went with my cousin because I, I just happened to be spending some time with her at the same time, like literally. And then the next day I crashed my car. So it was a lot. If you guys are members, you already <laughs> know all of this stuff because I did. Um, I do like my life updates and stuff like that for members only just because like usually, I don't know, that stuff doesn't perform well on my channel but for stuff like this I feel like I need to fill you guys in and just keep you updated since I did share that information that we were moving um, into a specific space that I was excited to show you one second to be fair we were approved for the place everything was great thumbs up all the way around yeah yes you're moving in so we spent two weeks and they just they took a long time to try and get us Thinking. the address to uh, send the deposit to I was not planning on moving this early in the year, only because I wanted to take some time to pay down our bills, get the credit score better, et cetera, et cetera, to kind of get prepared for the move anytime you make a financial change. That's how it works. Mm. But the place kind of fell into our lap, so it was like, well, it's a good opportunity. Let's try and jump on it. See what happens. All went great. Everything was ready to go. We bought boxes to put stuff in, like some bins and whatnot for moving. Yeah. I was looking at U-Hauls and pricing all this stuff out. Trying to come up with some logistics and home decor. Naturally, we were telling some friends all the and family things that we were needing. Hey, we're gonna move. Compiling an Amazon list. We're of so like excited. Things that we needed. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I was super stoked about like just the high ceilings and the big windows and stuff. <laughs> the economy is hard right now. The economy For is trash plants. right now. Is what. Um. <laughs> so yeah, it is. It's sad. It's unfortunate because we did. We spent two weeks of time with a yes yeah planning to move at the end of this month um so we weren't sharing that information obviously until we got the yes right there was, so yeah. now having to like backtrack on it with like all of our family our friends he has kids like it's a whole we were all excited it's everybody we're was excited all excited so yes. um We've been upset. We've known for like a, about a week now, but I've just kind of been like sitting with it. I didn't want to get on here and be emotional about it, but I did feel like it was important to talk about. And I know that you guys know how much I love my animals and how important they are to me. I know that this is a plant channel, but I do share a lot about my reptiles and we do plan on sharing a lot more reptile content on our channel we're in the process of kind of like rebranding our channel it's just called david and jacks right now if you go to my homepage, like here on youtube and scroll all the way to the bottom you can find it we do have like vlogs and stuff up from like a year or so <laughs> like ago um but we are gonna shift the focus to be more about like reptile-y stuff over there and like of course just us being like goofy and vloggy laid back kind of material we're not experts we're just reptile keepers and hobbyists and we mm -hmm. really enjoy it and we might dabble in breeding one day down the line so uh jessica totally not wrong yes rents are outrageous as bad as they are in some of these areas too in areas some areas are just they're far worse and so you know connecticut is one of those states where you you have higher taxes, you have a, more of a cost on pretty much everything across the board. Yeah. And so we're trying to get to a place that is friendlier if you're running your own business and making your own way, which New Hampshire is. Yeah, so. we both work from home. Yeah. We both run our own, you know, we, we work for ourselves. So it's just easier to be somewhere where we're paying less to, well, we'll get to know, the we'll to get live. to the why we're not moving but, um, in just a second. I brought up the reptiles for a reason. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so basically, when we were filling out the applications, you had to put like your job, what you do, how much money you make. So 
it's not my only source of income, but my right. main source of consistent monthly income is coming from YouTube. So I said, I am a content creator. I also grow and sell tropical plants, yada, yada, all the different things. So wasn't a problem. Everything was good. And then I guess well, what I assume, I'm just yeah. assuming this is allegedly, I don't know for sure, but allegedly what I think is the real estate agent looked me up on social media and saw that we had a bunch of reptiles because we didn't put the reptiles on the application. There was no space to put the reptiles on the application. They only asked about cats and dogs. So they were fine with cats and dogs. You just pay an extra fee. So the landlord was 100% okay with cats and dogs. Yeah. So to us, a couple of tank animals that usually nobody cares about didn't seem like an issue or like a thing that really needed to be... They don't make noise, they don't disgust. smell, they don't bark, they don't scratch, they don't touch the floor, they don't get out. They There's don't, no water. They're not like destructive. It's not a big tank of water. It's not like a 60-gallon water tank with fish right. that could spill. and like. There's no liability issue. They're not venomous. They're perfectly legal, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So we got a text. He got a text from the real estate agent like two weeks later, and she was like, do you guys have a snake? And we were like, we have five. <laughs> <laughs> And a couple of derpy geckos. And two geckos, right. And, like, we just, I don't know, it just didn't, now on every application we're like, look, we have seven reptiles, they're small, they're quiet, like, that's the first thing we say, and nobody else has had an issue with it. No. Um, so we just assume, like, if you're good with me having, like, a bunch of big-ass dogs, <laughs> like, that, and, and also, that a couple of, like, tank animals wouldn't be an issue. So they, she asked for, like, pictures. So I'm sitting there, I'm like, okay, find the we cute were pictures. Sweating. <laughs> and I'm sending cute pictures of the reptile, like, you know, looking all derpy and stuff, all like cross eyed or whatever. And I'm like, this is Iggy, this is Penny, yeah. this is Willow, this we is Eden. Bring some of them out like, you know, I'm like, okay, so let's send, you know, here's my cute little, like the picture of Iggy in the palm of my hand, like obviously yeah. super terrifying. Maybe you know? they were terrified of reptiles. And I'm like, look, nothing here is like an sure. anaconda, but it's not going to eat the neighbor's there. dog. It's not going to, like, you know, it's not going to get out, and then all of a sudden you're in the news because, like, you know, 40-foot <laughs> no, snake loose in a New Hampshire cold. town. They can't survive. If they're outside they're for a night animals. in New Hampshire, they're goners. Um, so anyway, they saw, so she's like, okay, look, I have to do due diligence, and I have to let the landlord know. So I'm like, well, okay. I'm sure if Iggy scared them. <laughs> <laughs> yes. In the palm of my hand. He's like it's a caterpillar. I, I deliberately, I'm like, this He's is He's approximately this eight inches long yeah. and what, the um, diameter of a pen. <laughs> so we sent those in. They came back and they said the landlord is uncomfortable with exotic pets. It's a no. Which wasn't on the listing, by the way. Yeah, it didn't like, say there was about nothing about exotic. Right. Which I always just I gotta laugh at somebody thinking like a ball python. <laughs> a ball python, exotic. Super exotic. exotic. I like, just got one at Petco for seventy bucks. Right. Super exotic. So um, that's funny, but Pooks, you bring up a good point that I was gonna touch on um, when you said maybe they just didn't like snakes and or they're afraid of them, and that's the only logical. Yeah. That's the only logical reason. Like, the owner of the place, the landlord, just has a personal prejudice against snakes. Well, you know what's funny? Because when we when we put in the application... Allegedly. We put in uh, personal references, work references. Everything got verified and came back all fine. Income verification, everything was, like, Background great. Background check. Um, they called, like, you know, just, I'm calling your friends. Yeah. What kind of a person are you? You know, et cetera, et cetera. You know, I work everything right. came back just fine. And oh so God, the way it ends up feeling is, is like, okay, look, you saw that we have reptiles and you made a judgment about us personally, according to your, yeah. I definitely felt judged. Yeah, your dislike um, of I a particular like my creature. animals were being judged. Yeah. Like as if they're monsters when they're like the derpiest, perfect little angel babies. They're the sweetest and things. The most unfortunate is we wanted to be a long-term tenant there yeah you know we wanted to start building it there we're quiet people we're adults it's not like we're partying college kids with like i have a snake and i keep it you know right no, like I right just... here next to my flamethrower or whatever i really like a flamethrower but that's like... <laughs> but, but i'm just saying like yeah. there's no like when we have our own property yeah oh totally yeah driveway is gonna be spotless 
in the winter. Um, so, so that was really unfortunate. Then I, I replied back, and I sent a long text, and I'm like, listen, I want you to pass this along to the landlord. And basically explain that. They don't make noise. It's not like it's not going to run over and crap in the neighbor's yard. It's not going to be, you know, it's not Barking like some crazy freaking dog that's going to get loose that you catch, like, you know, dry humping your car tire, you know, across the street or whatever. Why was that the thing you went to? I, because that's always like the thing, like the dog just like the dog's loose. Like it's that dog in the neighborhood. I don't know, whatever. <laughs> so, like, it's not one of those troublesome animals. It's not barking. Uh... They don't get separation anxiety. Like, that's another thing. You know, yeah. it's not scratching up the floor or the door. It's not drinking out of the toilet bowl. Right. I mean, I don't think So, a lot of people are talking about, like, the fear of snakes. And, like, that is a very real fear, no matter how irrational for a lot of people. Um, my thing is just that, like, you don't, you're not living in the space with the snakes. Like... To rent yeah. out a space to somebody, just like to say no because you don't like their pets, seems just as silly to me as saying no that like you don't like my furniture, right? Like, you don't like my style. You didn't like the thing as I the things I was gonna decorate with. So like you're out. You know what I mean? It feels just as silly to me as that. I offered um, them, but I'm not trying higher, to downplay uh... like people's actual fear in right. any way shape or form that's part of the reason why i want to talk about it because if anything we aim to educate people that are afraid and help people understand why there's no reason to be afraid of snakes unless you're dealing with like um i don't know a burmese python at full size yeah, like some <laughs> by yourself foot, like you snake. Know? if it weighs over 50 pounds like you might have a problem <laughs> Oh, yeah, right. But, like, that's not what we're keeping here. Yes, yeah, we like, keep an anaconda and our neighbor breeds rabbits. Like, there's, there might be an issue That might some be point. a problem, yeah. That's you, not what's going on. If your neighbor has a small dog and you have a very, yes, yeah. very large... Well, it's but so we quiet have, around here now. But we also it. have two relatively small animals, like they're cats. Why would we ever keep anything else in our home that would be potentially dangerous for the other creatures that we have. Animals. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So like they're not dangerous for people. They're not and dangerous hey, listen, for small animals. A dog in an apartment can chew molding off of doors. They can scratch right. up the floor, scratch up the doors. Like they, I've said it. You know, I'll even cats. Again. One cat pee somewhere, you smell that for the if next you're decade. Okay like it's with gross. a human sized dog. I'm not exactly sure why my reptile that stays in a locked enclosure that has no hands to get out. Right. So the only one getting ahead, out is if I let it out. I went so far as to make a counter offer, um, and basically offer close to it an additional like two grand a year for the place, um, which would you know. It was it was more than an extra. It was about an extra hundred and fifty bucks like a month. I said, listen, like I get it. Not everybody like you know well, does you this. Pay, if like a pet fee for right. a dog. Like so if we it's a liability like, issue, I'll I'll roll it into both the security deposit and our monthly fee. rent. And it was still just a no. Yeah. Um, so. Dogs are way worse than reptiles. I know, but people are so afraid. That's I mean, some people are afraid of dogs, but. Heard sirens were so ass. I'm just catching up. Um, I love snakes. I just own rabbits. Yeah, that's definitely something you want to keep separate. They are very sweet, misunderstood babies. For sure. Um, it does. It sucks. Like, at the end of the day, it sucks. But we're. We're trying to look at it as, like, this landlord probably would have been terrible. May have been a problem. Um, so, we probably dodged a bullet in the long run. It's just disappointing because we were excited. We wouldn't yeah. have gotten our hopes up if we didn't get a yes. We were being very, like, just trying so hard to be neutral about it. And I was trying so hard not to get excited about it until we knew for sure if we were going to get it or not. And we didn't think we were going to get it. So the <laughs> fact that we did, we were just, I was so happy. You know what I mean? So it was just like planning yeah. all these things. Like I was just really excited. So obviously I've been really sad. I'm not going to lie. I've been, I've been crying about it for the past week, but I'm feeling more hopeful than anything. My mom was a landlord and reptiles never cause half the problem kids do. Yes, reptiles. That too, we don't have any little kids. <laughs> reptiles like, won't take the markers out and like draw on the walls we don't, and stuff we're like quiet that. People. Can you imagine seeing the snake he with a little tail? He works on the computer all day. Right. I I film or I go out. I go driving all over. You guys know I go driving all over God's creation <laughs> to go plant shopping. 
Um, I've been doing less of it just because, like, I don't have my car. I did get my car back, by the way, but it's not, like, fully fixed yet. So I'm still driving his. But, um, yeah, it's been a roller coaster, you guys. Things have been a little hectic, a little insane this whole yeah. year has just been... Been a, little, been a little sketchy. A little bit much, but we're hoping that it's just going to get better from here. <laughs> trying to trust the process, trying to trust that there's like a plan that we don't always necessarily understand um, and that everything happens the way that it's supposed to, even if it kind of sucks and kind of hurts right now. Um, yeah. We really liked the town as well. That was kind of like part of it, and like the yeah, the, the area, town. the street that it was on, and just like um, everything about it was just was good, you know. So we're just hoping and praying that we can find another space that's either going to be just as good, if not better, for you know around the same price because it was a really good price for the amount of space that we would have had. Um, I didn't think that finding that much space for that price was possible. So I got excited. I got my hopes up. I, I had all the wood floors and the high ceilings and the bright windows that I wanted and I got excited. So I had a whole room that was going to be a plant room and I got excited. <laughs> so um, that's still the goal. Like we're still looking for a space where, where I can have that, where we can have that, where the reptiles can go, the plants can go, I can go and work and film and feel like I'm not in everybody's way because right now I do everything on the kitchen table and do you see, this is our kitchen table. It's covered. It's in covered in plant, plant shit. <laughs> because I don't have any other surface to work on and I have ADD so I don't always finish what I start and I leave a mess. Sometimes, yeah. I do. <laughs> um, so it'll be good to have my own space to make a mess in and then be able to just like close the door and <laughs> to forget about it. It's not in the kitchen at least, you know? So yeah, I think we'll, I think we'll find the right space for us. It's just a it matter just of sucks. timing. Yeah. It sucks because we were thinking that it was going to happen a lot sooner. Than right then it will because yeah. every month that we don't find a place it pushes us further out because we have to give this place 30 days notice right so um right now we're hoping that or at least i'm hoping that if we can find a place by the end of this month then maybe we can move in may if not then that pushes us to june and June, so I've got on a and Tennessee so trip, and I've got a writer's <laughs> conference, and so yeah, like, there's a lot things going start on to June. happen in the summer, you know, it makes it more so, difficult. We so. were trying to move and be settled in some place before the summer for that reason. Yeah. Um, because it's really difficult to travel. My cat needs medication and a lot of love and attention. He's getting, he's going to be 14. I don't like mm. leaving him without somebody that can come by and check on him and give him medicine if he needs it um so yeah. yeah there's a lot there's a lot going on and then like i said my cousin's in new hampshire so obviously that's part of the reason why i want to be there so i can be closer to them and um we'd be like really close to the reptile show that's there every two or three years because Lots of people have them, and they have places to live. Yeah. I'm not bitter. <laughs> We're definitely not happy about it. It's it's kind of like a... I don't know. It hurt in, like, multiple ways. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm losing the space that I wanted, that I had hoped for, and that I was planning on being in. But well, that we're told for two weeks that we were gonna be in. Yeah, and then I'm, it's the hardest part. And then I'm also being judged and told basically that, or or what it feels like to me allegedly, is her basically <laughs> saying you're gross, like your animals are nasty, and um, I just think you're like gross humans for having right. these nasty pets. Just to clarify, 
the real Allegedly. estate agent that was like our go-between back and the forth sweetest. between the landlord. She was really, 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 great. really sweet. Yeah, no, and I, I enjoyed. Not I enjoyed, her fault at all. Don't like, blame her in the slightest. Yeah, way. I enjoyed working with her. It wasn't none of this was her decision, and she has She's somebody they're they're job. contracted to manage the property. So yeah. if there's anything that comes up, they have to tell the landlord. I totally get that. For sure. Um, you know, and we weren't trying to hide the fact that we were, that we had no. critters or anything like that. But like I've been in a bunch of different apartments. I've lived all over the place. Free or die. I've never had to tell somebody about a tank Either animal. Um, what's that? Yeah. Somebody said what happened to live free or die. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. Uh, Wasn't expecting yeah. it, you know? But also, I do expect it to a degree. Like, my grandma won't come over because of the snakes. And I'm like, they're in locked enclosures they don't have hands <laughs> they don't move they can't get out <laughs> some people call ball pythons pet rocks because they don't do anything they're the they pug of the snake world you just they don't do anything it's totally harmless yes yeah, it is strange it's a it's an odd reason to turn down tenants like good tenants yeah you know yeah like, okay, if we had, like, okay, I have a pet six-foot Komodo dragon. <laughs> All right, maybe there's going to be an issue no, with something like that. No, our biggest snake. Yeah, um, she's not getting any bigger. Like No. And Eden will be our big... Do you want to go get Eden? Sure. She will be our biggest snake, but she's not big yet. Um, we're going to show you, show you at least one of them before we go Where in a little she? bit. Let me know if you guys have any questions. If, if I've missed anything, I apologize. Um, I am reading the chat, though. New Hampshire Reptile Expo actually happens four times a year. I know. I, I just love him saying that. There's a ton more now happening in Massachusetts, Rhode Island, um, and I think New Hampshire, too. Southern New Hampshire. Um, the Show Me Reptiles. He owns a shop in Rhode Island. I went there when I went to the Show Me Exotic whatever plant expo thing that I went to in Rhode Island. Oh, there's Eden, if you're afraid of snakes. Hello. <laughs> like, come on, look at her. She's so cute. She's very peachy She's on very camera. Peachy. I think because the warm light is probably... That's a nice shot of her. <laughs> you look so pretty. I'm going to have to start using the lights to take videos of you, girl. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so terrifying. It just, like, upset me because my animals have been... My snakes have especially have really been a source of like peace for me and purpose for me and they've been really good for my anxiety and my um, my being prone to melancholy. It gives me something to do and interacting with them and feeding them and giving them clean water and just handling them, hanging out with them. Like <laughs> that's what I keep saying. Fish like, are if I bigger just problems. Had, like, a, yeah, but like a little goldfish in a bowl. Like, uh, yeah, like do one I need of those to little, tell like, you, like if I go to the carnival something. and come back with like a goldfish, a goldfish for I my want kids, a goldfish. do I need to like email you about it? You know, I want a goldfish in the bag. Yeah. I might as well like, just put it directly. That's what I was like, where's the line? Do I need to tell them about the isopods too? Because then the number of pets that I have just starts going through the roof. <laughs> <laughs> like, do they also, I released a thousand ladybugs. Do they also but need to know about the dubia fine. roaches that I keep, that I feed my geckos? Like, I don't do crickets. <laughs> emotional because, support animals. Like, Can you imagine having an emotional support snake like on an airplane? They Snakes do. on a plane. They really do. No, Penny is right. They stabilize. I like, wonder. Because if I'm feeling stressed and I hold an animal, my priority is now the animal. I want to get sure like they're not stressed. a little vest with like a little reflective that just says like emotional support. Please don't pet. I've considered that. Yeah. I was like, if I register them as emotional support animals, can they legally turn me down I for housing? They don't do emotional <laughs> support snakes. It's not good. You don't know that. Oh, yes, I tried. do. They don't do it. Have you That's tried? Thing. This is my emotional I feel support like he might alligator. Have, he might have tried. <laughs> <laughs> That's what see. She had the same thought. I wonder if you could make them emotional support animals. <laughs> yeah. Like you, I don't think you'd be able to say no. <laughs> they do. They do help. There's. There's so much. You know, I never realized until I got Penny about four years ago, just how much joy and how much of a connection you can actually have with them 
Um, she said maybe we should also tell them about the mealy bugs. <laughs> yeah, that's right. All the predatory mites that I, the, the tens oh, you of have thousands Hoya? You of can't predatory be mites that I release a few times a year. It's like some of them don't do certain dog breeds. They would also be like, oh, it's a Hindu rope. You can't have that here. I'm sorry. Judging you. Too many mealy bugs. Okay, don't bring a croton into this house. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. I'm afraid to be near them. I'd love to get over that fear one day. No, you're fine. It's a, like I said, you're allowed to have that fear. Some people are just really ignorant about it and they'll say dumb things to me like, oh, that snake is just sizing you up or oh, it's only a matter of time before this. I'm like, yeah, okay, sure. It's only a matter of time before this thing tries yeah. to eat me. Says the dude with a pet pit bull. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Hope your dog doesn't chew off some kid's face on the way home. Isn't like the number of people who die from snake bites but of a snake bites a year <laughs> less so than the low. number of people who get struck by lightning <laughs> while getting eaten by a shark yeah it's like that that kind of a ratio it's like not really a thing unless you live in india and you're sleeping on the ground like you have to be like sleeping on the ground and like roll over onto a venomous snake or like step on it or something and the... <laughs> do you know what i mean shelby that's a go okay couldn't that be considered discrimination could you imagine going to court and like showing a picture felt like of it. like my palm with little Iggy in it? And yes, being like, we were I feel very discriminated <laughs> against. I said that in one of my crying fits. I was like, okay, I just oh, feel it's so, fantastic. Like, discriminated against for like this thing that makes me so happy and brings me so much joy. And don't get me wrong, my plants bring me a ton of happiness when I'm not overwhelmed by having yeah. too many, but. It's different with a living, breathing yeah. animal. Um, they it's require just, just more of my attention. And you have to be very careful. You're building trust with the animal. You have to make them feel safe and in that process. All right, Larry, quick Google search. Snakes can be emotional support animals. We're you, on it. You're no longer the priority, essentially, when you're holding one of these animals or taking care of one of these animals. And for me, that's really good. It just kind of puts all my anxiety to the side and gives me something that quiets my brain. Yeah. For the most part, nothing really like that quiets my brain besides music but they're chill and, and it's it's surprising how much you can actually have a bit of a bond mm -hmm. with them it's not they something that people really realize like they don't they experience stress now people will say like well do, do snakes experience like can they have a bond like can they love their owner not really it's mm, not it no. doesn't work that or way in trust. their brain but it is an established trust so Fact. there's a there's a mutual respect there's a trust when I open Penny's terrarium, she knows mm -hmm. I'm no threat. I'm not going to hurt her. She doesn't rear back. There's nothing nothing like that because of the repeated handling. And she knows me really well, so much so that she'll climb up my face and just, yeah. like, hang out here and fall asleep. Um, you know, and that's a different kind of... It's a different kind of bond with them. And also, you're taking care of a creature that's really misunderstood. Um, <laughs> you know, and that's that's something that just feels really good to do and to be able to educate people about them like no they're not all venomous you know mandy says i've been bitten by hamsters far more than snakes yeah i say that all the time hurts. about my cat they got when those people teeth don't want to come growing. over because they're afraid of this thing i'm like you are far more likely to get slapped scratched he was just slapping he was just cat. slapping five minutes ago on the yeah. live stream he was he sitting was here slapping my foot well, okay, but you know what? This is my sofa. He's, he's territorial. When he pays the IKEA People bill, didn't he want to can come over to my sofa. apartment because they were afraid that my cat was going to slap them as they were walking down the hallway. And I'm like, you're going to need to get over that because he's just a cat and he's just yeah. like slapping your ankle. But also, the snakes don't free roam the apartment, so you're not no. going to come over and just like. Look, see, now she's just going to go. And up even that if way. they what were, even if they were, for you to get this snake to bite you. You would either have to pretend to be a mouse with your hand, which sometimes they might think it is, but you learn their body language and like that's a whole thing. Yeah. But you would have to literally back her up into a corner and she would tell you in many different ways to get away from her before she strikes at you. She might even just bluff strike at you a few times. They'll posture to make themselves look big. Like it's good to know what a defensive snake looks like right. so that you can just exit the situation yeah for sure. they're not gonna they're biting you as their last resort they don't want to they want to run away from you they want to flee from you they're in the middle of the food chain these are not 
apex predators. <laughs> Last resort. Cut my mouse into piece. Never mind. Forget it. I'm, sorry. I'm so sorry. I had to do it. It was in my head because you said that. We would have to cut the mouse into pieces if we got those garter snakes that I want. That's right. That's terrible. It's gross. We need like scissors. <laughs> it's really gross. Uh, you get really desensitized really quickly um, to dead mice when you have snakes. I thought it would yeah. gross me out and it kind of did at first, but. Mm -hmm. I just find a lot of joy in feeding my animals and watching them eat and um, understanding that that's just part of the food chain. It's the same so way we eat someone. chicken, they gotta eat, they gotta eat too, you know? Hi, baby. Blah, blah, blah. You can tell by their tongue flicks too. You can tell she's doing long, frequent tongue flicks. That's her being curious. She's yeah. curious. She's just exploring. If she thought you were food, they would be a lot shorter and quicker than that, and she would be moving in like a much more like excited, kind of quick. They do this like wiggle with their head almost. They yeah. do this like, they're like, is it food? I gotta give them a little boop sometimes on the head, like, no, it's not food, it's me. <laughs> Let him know. <laughs> yes, they expected, they expected a Voldemort snake. Yeah, for sure. Not like mm -hmm. they got pictures. I sent them a picture of Iggy in the palm of my hand. He's so small. He's a worm. I can take him. Right? Too. And like this one. It just, she was. Oh, she, she's out. like, she's a major hand holder. She yeah. just like kind of locks on, stays there, and just looks she'll around. She'll definitely be our biggest snake. How she probably. Do you think she'll get five, six feet. She, I don't know about six. I don't, I don't see that. But, you know, she'll probably just get a little she's bit bigger than Penny. She's thick, though. Show them how thick she is. She's thick. She's like, hey, here's my booty. She's got like a really interesting, um, they call it like a bread box. Like a loaf, she looks Her like shape. a loaf of bread. Her shape, yeah. they're kind of like rectangular. Yeah, they are like right they're here. Very they're very muscular. They're boas. longer this way Compared than they to are that pythons, way. ball pythons are rounder. But yeah, um, I definitely want to do more reptile content, like I said. So if you guys are interested in that, um, keep your eyes open. Obviously, I'll announce it. We're probably going to start with just like a general like show and tell. Here's a tour of like our animals. We did it on um, live on Plant Story and people really enjoyed it. That was so fun. Yeah. I want to do a, a more less chaotic structured version of that where we can just kind of show each of our animals, um, introduce everybody to each of the animals and just a little bit about them. And then we can do all the videos from there yeah. talking about any literally anything I, I love making bioactive enclosures so i definitely want to do content like that um talking about just like general care like i said i'm not an expert eventually how to knit them hats <laughs> with a little ascot what did you do with that little hat that i got you that goes on a cactus uh i put it on i put it it's it was on the no i don't think we put it there i thought i put it on the... no i think you were being picky about it i didn't want to say it out loud because the peen Yes, <laughs> but I didn't want to say I put it. I on think my you face. can. I think you can say. I think you can say penis on That's YouTube. That's not what I did. Um, yeah, no, I don't know where it is. Sure. Then we'll find out. Yeah, I don't know. We have a little top Who hat. Was scared stiff when a garter snake got into their workspace. I just laughed, picked it up, and put it outside. <laughs> garter snakes are definitely um, like fast. They take off. You're aware of the reptile breeder whose wife murdered him. It was a big case a few years back. Jeez, no. no. That sounds like some, some like, Tiger King stuff going on. She feed him to the snakes? It's terrible. You have so many people watching you for plants and you help educate them. Thank you, Aubrey. I mean, that's part of the goal. I know that maybe not everybody wants a snake as a pet, but at least... Totally get that. I never really thought much about it until you know we started hanging out and i got to know penny and um Penny's i was the like best. you know what i think i like snakes you guys know i have some chronic health issues i um don't like high maintenance pets and these guys are not high maintenance at all so if i go days without interacting with them they're to girl you don't need to ball yourself yeah see that's like what's that. nice too like we can they actually go away for like three or four Look days and it doesn't matter she won't unball her butt yeah you're okay baby she got a twisty butt yeah maybe put her back She's my son wants a babe. snake what kind of snake is this this 
He's, she's a boa, but we're going to put her back because she's stressed out. Yeah. I don't want to stress her out I know. I let go. She was holding my hand, and now I'm not holding her hand. And she's like, nope, that's not okay, Dad. <laughs> it's not okay. Um, you no, know, it's me. I can snag a little baby Iggy if you want to. Okay. Just wa- wash your hands in between, babe. Yeah. I don't have any sanitizer. But I'll just hold her for a second. We might may potentially have mites on one of our snakes. So I've just been very, very precautious. And um, I've been treating them. So we're just being extra safe. Um, but they're all fine. They're healthy. It's not, it's not a big deal. I think that actually my beneficial mites that I release in here all the time have helped take care of any mites that might be affecting the snakes. Um, let me see. I saw around 10 this past summer outside our building, but nothing like what you guys have. No, yeah, boas are not native. We're in Connecticut, so we'll see, like, garter snakes, what, rat snakes, um, sometimes racers. You can find rattlesnakes around here if you go to, like, the right areas. Timber. Yeah, but they're not super common and you kind of have to hike to the right spot and like look for them they're not usually like just out and about um but they're really cute i really like venomous snakes but obviously i don't most states it's not legal but the ones that are i i do not trust uh like there's ways to, to go about it for sure if you wanted like venomous snakes but i don't trust myself i'm clumsy <laughs> Thank you for the good vibes. I appreciate that. Um, ball pythons are great snakes. Had one once. Wife would take them to the school for the kids to see. Yeah, they're so docile, honestly. They don't move very quickly. They just chill most of the time. They'll just stay in a ball. Like Penny just stays in a ball on my lap. <laughs> like she just sits there. <clears throat> so. Um, but... Eden is a boa. She's a boa constrictor. So they definitely get bigger and they're a little bit stronger. They definitely have a stronger feeding response too. So if you're afraid of being like them like striking at the food, if that startles you, um, just be aware that they are very like aggressive. I don't like to use the word aggressive, but they are very like fast and hard like strikers and like they don't mess around. Boas don't mess around. Uh, Bubba, he's coming back. So, you're going to have to move. Oh, I know. I'm so sorry. Oh, I know. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I grabbed him and he coughed. He was like... I know. I know. It's He's okay. Filthy. He's covered in dirt. Oh, yeah. He digs in the dirt, Mr. Iggy. So, Iggy is a hog nose snake. This is Crash. He's a kitty. <laughs> um... And he's the tiniest little caterpillar you're ever going to see. Our snakes are African house snakes. Oh, nice. Well, those are cool. Yeah. Those are really cool. No. Okay. Um, I've been looking into, like, carpet pythons. Don't bite me. Stop trying to... <laughs> see? I've been looking Rainbow into... Well, I'm trying to keep him off your spot. Um, yeah, I've been looking into carpet pythons. I think I might... But the African house snakes come up a lot when I'm looking into the carpet pythons as well. Because I think they're also semi-arboreal, if I'm not mistaken, and kind of like similar. But I could be wrong. Uh, my poor, poor guy was called Ben Rinnick. He was well-respected in the reptile community. His wife was called Lindley. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder if anybody's done YouTube videos on it. Because I like true crime stuff, too. And that's like close to home. There was one here in Hartford that I was watching. Oh, it's a, it's a little man. Oh my <clears> goodness, he's so small. Iggy, 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 can't you <laughs> see? It's hard to even focus on him. I, I like know. turn the camera down. So this is basically the picture that I sent them. I'm like, yes, we have a snake. Uh, is one of them. Yeah. And you cute little bugger. He's super cute. So let me know if you guys have any questions about anything. Um, snakes or... <sighs> so dirty. Anything, life stuff. Because um, we're going to go in a couple of minutes. But yeah. I'm starting to get hungry. Look at how cute you are. Look at him. His little nose hit my hand and dirt fell <laughs> off. Mm, yeah. 
He's just the cutest dang thing I've ever seen in my life. Hi, baby. Look at him. Like, how can you be scared of this little, this little nugget? So they are actually technically rare fang venomous, but like it's basically just a glorified saliva, kind of like garter snakes. Garter snakes are the same, and um, people usually don't have a reaction um, unless you're allergic. And it's people have said that if you're allergic to bee stings. And it's more common. People who are allergic yeah. to bee stings have more of a reaction to their venom. But, but also, they have to, like, chew mild. on you. Yeah, like, they, they don't strike. It's not like a bite. Like, like, I was just talking about the boas. They strike yeah. fast and hard. This guy doesn't strike at all. He just goes... Really slow. Over the food and then just, like, swallows it. I actually have a video of it. It's really cute. I should share it on my Instagram. But, yeah, he's just a little noodle. Mm-hmm. You two are lovely. I hope your living situation improves. We'll be yeah, okay. Yeah, it's not like we're unhappy, um, you know, in this space. I'm grateful for this space. I think this is a beautiful space. We just don't have a lot of space <laughs> Yeah. for both of us to be working from home. Can you tilt the camera back up again? You got to twist this to the right. And Turn then, like, to the right. You mean to left. The left. Okay, I'm dyslexic. Okay, that's too high. <laughs> Sorry. There you go. Look at the little man. I know, I'm like trying to hide What's my face. What's up, little man? He's so cute. He's terrifying. So this is the reason why we got denied our new place. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> After being told yes, she saw a little baby Iggy and was like, no, no, that is too terrifying. He is way too ferocious. Absolutely. He's trying they to dig just, in between my fingers. Like just eat people in the neighborhood. You yeah, he can't be trusted. No. He's also not barely even gonna get to a foot, so he they really they don't they don't get big. No. Um, and he's a colubrid, which is different than any of the rest of our snakes. Um, but I'll talk about him for forever, so I'll save it for the other channel. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I love it. I love learning. It's the same thing I did with plants. I was like, ooh, plants are pretty. And then I became obsessed with learning the scientific names and learning more about each different type of plant. And it's kind of just been the same rabbit hole. Uh, is there reptiles. a type of snake that will stay on the smaller side? Yeah. Hog nose. Um, the females will get max up to two feet. Even boas, like blood boas. I know they're blood dwarf. boas sounds scary, but they're a dwarf species. That's what willow is. Um, that's what willow is. Ball pythons honestly dwarfs. don't get... And, and actually male ball pythons stay pretty small. They just get thick. They do get thick, yeah. So I'd say though like hog noses stay the smallest. Um, and then it depends on what type of... There's tons of dwarf species of boa. Like my rainbow boa doesn't get more than four feet. Willow won't get more than four feet max. Uh, and she's a blood boa. So there's tons of snakes that max out around four feet. Yeah. Uh, but if you're looking for ex <laughs> extra small, hog noses are definitely where it's at. That's why I originally looked into them because I was like, oh, they don't take up a lot of space. We have this smaller enclosure that we need to fill mm -hmm. eventually because Silas, our rainbow boa, is going to be. Everybody's sizing up, so Penny's yeah. going into a bigger enclosure, which means Eden. It's like when you have pennies. when you have like a couple of kids, Hand me down. and then you get yeah. like the one has the bigger jeans, but it doesn't fit in them, so you pass the jeans down. Yeah. It's the same thing, but with their little. Homes. So I wanted, I wanted something that was going to be able to live its whole life in that size. Um, I will probably spoil him and get him something different eventually, but it's nice this guy to eats know. Pinky mice. He's so, the they're yeah. so small. But he's very picky and. Um, he, he will only eat them tuna. if we put a couple drops of tuna juice on him, which means that I get a tuna fish sandwich once a week, which is nice. Yeah, as soon as he smells the tuna, he goes right for it. Yeah, he's big um, on that. So in the wild, hog noses, they eat amphibians a lot when they're small because they're so small. So they eat frogs and things like that. Yeah. Um, and they live out in, like, Texas, any, like, that part of the area, like, that part of the world, from, like, Texas all the way up to Canada. Yeah. And that, like, western, he's a western hognose. Western hognose. Yeah, eastern He's hognose. like, howdy, y'all. <laughs> and we named him Ignatius because it means fiery. Yeah. Because we thought yeah. he was spicy, and he has not been no, spicy no, one chill. single day in his life since, yeah. like, day three of bringing him home. <laughs> now we gotta change his name to, like, he Chilius. Would, he would hiss and bluff strike at us, like, constantly. He had a real problem with the strings on my hoodie. He I was, don't know if he still he was, does. 
we're gonna he's looking at it like what he's is like, that get this get this the way he sees like the way he looks and watches me is so different than the rest of my snakes. yeah he definitely processes things Hi. in a much different way he's looking at me yeah well because you just showed him a little snake <laughs> See how he, well, he follows me, and then he <laughs> so sticks funny. his tongue out to smell me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. All right, don't bring back. Yeah. Dump him in there. Okay, here you Come go, on, buddy. buddy. You're okay. Go back home. Sorry I pulled you out of there. <laughs> I love that little bean. Um, so, yeah, let me know if you guys have anything else you want to chat about when he comes back. We'll say goodbye, and we'll end the stream. Hognoses are illegal here in Alberta, Canada. So silly. It is really silly. It's because they're venomous. Oh, so scary. <laughs> like I said, though, like they literally won't do damage. They'll actually play dead. <laughs> they'll be like, no, don't eat me. I'm already dead. They play dead and they broke at you. They bluff strike at you with their little nose. They just hit you like with their mouth closed and their nose. Um, yeah. And they hiss. They'll even do a little tail rattle to imitate rattlesnakes yeah. to scare you off. My whole so, head in frame. So your whole head. I mean, your whole head was in frame. Yeah. It just looks smaller on, so now we're like low in the frame, you see? Okay. I appreciate you guys for hanging out with us. I appreciate your positive energy. Definitely keep us in your thoughts and your prayers for whatever it, yeah. works for you. Um, we appreciate it. We're just, you know, we'll keep you updated. We're not gonna jump the gun and get excited about any of the places until we know for sure no. 100% that we're moving. Yes. Um, until I've signed until something. Until we've signed things. Right. We've learned our lesson this time, unfortunately. We... Yeah. In the meantime, you've got planned stuff to do. I've got books that I'm writing and that are coming out this year. So, like, I'm gonna we got a lot going to do another purge. I've got a couple of lives scheduled over on the Plan Story app. If you guys haven't downloaded that yet, you definitely should. Make sure you use my link so you can get your $15 coupon, though. Don't miss out on that coupon okay coupon or coupon 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 where did this most did of us this. agreed that it was coupon it was coupon. and not coupon 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 yeah is it a q-tip or a q-tip that's <laughs> not the same coupon is spelled with a c i could say you're a cutie but now you're, <laughs> you're a cootie that's terrible you wouldn't say it's a chicken cube <laughs> you know what i mean like <laughs> a chicken cube I'm just saying. Anyway, right, you're I love you guys. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up, and I'll see you tomorrow with a regular, regular content. Where are the books linked? Um, just type in davidbetterinia.com. Okay. Watch me spell it wrong. That would be hilarious. Uh, there's one currently available. There is a short story also available. Did I spell it right? From yes, from it came from the trailer You'll have park. To copy and paste it. Uh, I've got a really funny short story in that anthology, and then this year. Two, We've got some stuff being published. Two that should be, that should, that are definitely coming out. One, another one that I think will as well. So probably set to get three of them out this year, which is pretty awesome. Yeah. So I always let you guys know when there's new stuff. It's always linked in like the bio of every single, like the description of every single mm-hmm. um, regular video that I post. I don't, this one doesn't have my regular description box, but every single video has the link to his book in the description box. Yes. For those of you who have checked it out and read <coughs> uh, the one that I published before, The Caretaker, mm-hmm. news about that one coming out. So, um, so yeah, that's exciting. Not ready to quite drop that yet, but some some really cool things are happening. So for sure. So keep your eyes open for his comeback yep. to YouTube soon as well. Yeah, I'm working on it. Okay, I love you guys. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Oh, I gotta hit.